Hi everybody, welcome to Lulu Goldstone's art tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to create an animal silhouette painting. It's super easy and I've got two brilliant techniques to show you. The first one, I'm going to show you how to create a mother polar bear and her cub walking across a frozen tundra in silhouette against a beautiful moonlight sky and there are beautiful stars as well. And I'm also going to show you how to create a stag or a very proud and strong monarch of the Great Glen standing at the peak of a mountain in a beautiful sunset. I hope you enjoy these two techniques. Now, if you have enjoyed this video, please remember at the end to press like and subscribe to my channel where I have put a ton of exciting painting, drawing and 3D projects for you to get involved in. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you at the end. Bye. So let's get started with products and materials. I have chosen a range of materials that I have found on Amazon and these are ones that I have found work really well for this particular project and other arts projects so they're really handy to have in your art caddy. So to begin with we have got the System 3 acrylic paints and they're by Dela Rowney and they're absolutely brilliant. They're really great for blending. The colours are exceptionally vivid and you can just do so much with them. You can use them thickly, you can use them thinly, you can apply them onto canvas, onto paper, onto board but I love them. You can also use them for textiles projects and screen printing. So they're really handy to have around the house. The second thing that I'm going to show you is how to use the Langton watercolour paper by De La Roney. I've got A3 paper and it is 300 DSM. So it's a beautiful thick cardstock. It's got a slight texture to it, but I think that works really well because I'm using the acrylic paints a little bit like a watercolour so that you can blend them really easily. My favourite brushes are the Specialist Craft brushes and they work brilliantly. They're really really good student quality and um, they seem to last a really long time. These flat brushes are absolutely brilliant and you can get a variety of different thicknesses that work really well. Finally, when it comes to gluing, my preference is for the Scola clear glue, the sort of the PVA glue which dries clear and it's perfect for this project and it's just a really good thing to have in your house. I have popped links at the bottom to Amazon so that you can click on them later on if you are interested in creating these projects. Let's get started. So one of the first things you're going to need to do is to make a silhouette or a template. Now you can easily print off a template using a computer or you can create a template by painting a sheet of paper black or using some black card and tracing that template on there and then you can cut it out very carefully. You can do that using a knife or um, in my case I used a pair of really sharp scissors and I started off by creating a variety of different silhouettes that I could use from the polar bear and the cub and also the Monica for Glen there, the, the stag, but also um, I've got some birds on a wire which is going to be for another project and also a sitting and leaping hare. Good luck with it. So because I was a bit short of canvas, what I've done is actually I'm going to be painting today for the background. I'm going to use some watercolour paper because it's really lovely. And I've got my pre-cut uh, little template. So it's a uh, mummy and a, a baby um, polar bear. And you can do various things. You can kind of come down, sort of grade from sort of dark to light what I'm or you could do a kind of you could have a sunset with reds and oranges you could do a variety of different backgrounds and then just play around with them what I'm going to do is try and do a sort of start at a circle sort of where I think sort of the the head will be about here and then I'm going to kind of grade out and sort of go to a darker so it'll sort of go light in towards the white here we'll see how we get on I'll do it on time lapse I've just got some acrylic paints I've got some water I've gone for some different shades of blue um, white obviously for the middle um, and then I'll probably go to this blue and then probably this one this is purple I just thought I might put a tinge of that in and then towards the edge what I would do is put a mix a, a black and a blue dark blue this is an ultramarine um, just to sort of give it some atmosphere and then I'm going to probably flick using a toothbrush some white paint on to evoke stars okay let's get going
Okay, so using some watery acrylic paint, okay, just put a little bit of water into your paint. And if you have an old toothbrush, this is perfect. You just dip your toothbrush into it. A dry toothbrush is better, okay? And then what you're gonna do, and it might be good, if you're, you're inexperienced in doing this, you might wanna test this out on a piece of paper first. What you can do is flick just at the top half, your finger against it, to create stars. Perhaps gone a little bit over the top there. No, that's fine. There we go. And then, ta-da, it is finished, hooray. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna do Monarch of the Great Glen. I'm gonna have a sort of a sunset and it'll start here. And I'm gonna sort of finish off a mountain down here and then just have um, some uh, white and these are the colours that I'm going. I'm going to go for white, yellow and I'm going to pop a little bit of white in that just to make it opaque and then I'm going to use some orange so you can see how much red I've got to yellow, not very much and I'll probably put a little bit more white in it and then a bit of red just at the corner. You can also add a little bit of black um, just to make that red a bit darker in the corner but it's really up to you. Okay, I'm going to do this in time lapse. for joining me on the Lulu Goldstone art tutorial channel. I hope you've enjoyed these two tutorials and do remember to see us again. You can always press like and subscribe and you can have a look at my channel and see all of my exciting tutorials to get you started with new art projects, whether it be painting, drawing, or maybe even a little bit of sculpture. Anyway, I'll see you again really soon. Don't forget that there are some links to those products that I've popped at the bottom here and we'll see you again really soon. Thanks, bye.